Hey everyone, Miss Dempsey here. This is a guide for round 8 of the Manufacturer Series. Let's get this started. For this first turn, start to break well before the fence on the left changes over to a wall. You're kind of going for a late 8 picks, so you can go just a tiny bit wide and slowly start to accelerate your way out. Use the apex of this mini turn as your breaking point right here and treat this turn similar to that of the first turn where you're very patient with easing off the braking and the throttle. Before the barriers on the left changes color, you will use the brakes for a very short moment of time. Let the car cruise for just a moment to let the car rotate around this turn. Once you're in the middle of the green asphalt turf that is on the left, you will start to brake. This is where you want to go just a tiny bit wide as you're going for a late apex. Going for a late apex will get you a better exit speed through this turn. For this final turn, you will start to brake before you reach the pit sign that is on the right. You'll be trouble breaking for a moment and then you'll be doing a lot of throttle control. Wait for the curb on the right to end before you start to fully accelerate and you are good to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the strategies. For this race, when it comes to pit strategies, the rate at which your tires wear out will help determine what kind of uh, pit strategy you want to go with. For example, with the Nissan GTR Group 4, it likes to destroy its front tires, so I have to go with a strategy where I have to pit a bit more often just to try to squeeze in a bit more time. So with that said, I'm going with the third strategy where I start with racing medium tires in the front, racing hard tires in the back, and then pit twice for racing soft tires. Don't forget that racing hard tires are the required tires for this race. Now if you're in a car that has medium tire wear, you can start over on the hybrid tire strategy or racing hard tires and then when you're halfway into the race, switch it over to racing medium tires. Of course, all this is interchangeable as long as you're not using the hybrid tire strategy. Now the reason why I put the first strategy as one of the available strategies is in case if your car has enough tire wear to be able to be fine for just two stints instead of having to go for three stints just like in the third strategy. Now, when it comes to the second and the fourth strategy, those are for cars that have very light tire wear. A very good example is the Alfa Romeo 4C. Now let's go to the second strategy where you either start on the hybrid tires or racing hard tires and then when you're halfway into the race, you switch on over to racing soft tires. In the case of the 4C, that car has very minimal tire wear since it's lighter than a feather. And I mean, it's pretty nuts just because the 4C can have the soft tires last 12 to 13 laps with it. So that'll give you an idea of how light the tire wear is. And the same thing goes with the 4 strategy where you do a no stop. And if you do it with the 4C, it will be fine until the last couple of laps where it starts to struggle. Now, is the fourth strategy a good one? I wouldn't say it's a good strategy, but it's still a strategy just because as I just said, your tires will be struggling towards the end. So for those who went on other strategies, they have a chance of catching up to you and you basically have nothing you can do about it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this guide. I would like to thank my friend Patty for helping me out with this guide. And I'm just putting this guide out a couple days early because I'm not going to be as active around here for the next few days since it's the holiday season. And yeah, so if you happen to find a interesting strategy, you can definitely comment it down below. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. So this is Ms. MCA. Wishing you a good race and I'll see you in the next video.